Okay, so some issues arising. First of all, um, Laurel and Hardy. I, I have two embryos from them. I think that's the best I'm ever going to do. I was thinking I was going to see if I could plump up that chick and give it back to her, but then I started thinking, what am I thinking? The whole reason I took her embryos and fostered that one little baby to her was to see if she could successfully raise a baby, and what I found is that she can't. It's kind of interesting. I, I can see that she's fed it, but she's not feeding it enough, and now I'm kind of wondering... I've noticed that, that, that um, Lilith has always been kind of socially inept. She's a big bird and kind of overly aggressive. And now I'm like, I wonder if she's maybe deaf and she can't hear the baby peeping at her or something. Anyway, she's sitting in the box on three blank eggs. I just checked them. And um, what I'm going to do is about an hour before sundown, I will pull them both and put them in the, um, in the flight cage where I'm putting retired birds. He's not retired. I, I'll sell him as a breeder, but she's retired because she can't raise a baby. So I will sell her as a pet. I'm letting her, full disclosure that she's not breedable. Okay. So what that means is, A, the one baby that I thought she was going to raise is now taking up a foster space, and I thought I had two more foster spaces in her box. Uh, which are now gone because she's proven that she doesn't know how to raise a baby or isn't capable for some reason or another. Um, so that changes my situation here. On top of that, look at these two. We got our first egg today out of Bubba and I named her Cinnamon. She's a Cinnamon Opaline Grey Green. Um, out of Bubba and Cinnamon, so they're on their way. They will be trailing well behind everyone else, and I will cull their nest because they don't have any peers to um, foster babies to if anything goes wrong. So I will cull their nest down to um, four embryos. Um, but that's a long ways off. We only have one egg right now. So um, uh, the other thing, I, so I started re looking at this, and one of the other things I'm running into is that I have been doing the cold date as the 12th, the 12th day of incubation after the first egg is laid. And what I'm finding is that there is an egg on the 12th day that is fertile, but hasn't developed enough for me to see its fertility. And everybody has more embryos than I thought they did. So I'm going to have to change my cold date to the 13th or 14th day after. Um, so what I did was I went and rechecked everybody's embryos. And these two, I used to think had four embryos and one blank egg. They have five embryos. Well, they actually have three chicks and two embryos unhatched yet. Um, these two, whom I thought had two blank eggs and three embryos, have one blank egg and four embryos. Um, these two, whom I thought had three blank eggs and four embryos, have two blank eggs and five embryos. This girl, whom I thought had only, th had five, two blank eggs and three embryos, has one blank egg and four embryos. Everybody's coming up with an extra baby. So, um, I had to go back and recount my foster spaces to see if I'm going to be able to accommodate all these chicks. The one that's remained the same is, um, Jester and Skye over there who have one blank egg and four embryos. Actually, they have two chicks and two embryos. So, so the things that changed, um, this gal here, uh, this is Rainbow and Buster, and Rainbow is an advanced age hen. She laid six eggs. She has two viable embryos in there, so that means there will be a foster. Um, this one, who, my, who I thought maybe had one embryo, doesn't, and she now has two foster chicks in there, but there is still room for one more. Um, again, I got fooled by... Um, by uh, Angel down here, I thought she had um, only one of her own embryos, and the two that I fostered to her from Lilith, there is a fourth embryo in there, so I'll have to find a place for that one. Um, these two aren't hatching their last two eggs. They have two great, big, beautiful chicks, and those last two eggs just aren't going to happen. So tomorrow is their band date, and I'll have to band at least one of their chicks. Um, I will take the two eggs, and I'm going to take um, Azul and Storm's biggest baby, who is the same age as these two, and drop him on them to raise. Um, I'm 
absolutely sure that at least one more egg is going to hatch and that biggest baby is four days older than the next in line and just way bigger than everyone else so if she had to end up raising four chicks we wouldn't want that gap the giant baby will will cause her to lose that last baby so he's going to get fostered out they have three live chicks in there already and a fourth one due to hatch tomorrow. So tomorrow when I do banding, he's going to get shifted over here. So they'll have three chicks to raise. If they hatch out, um, uh, if they indeed hatch out two more chicks, I will take their last chick and drop it on um, Limey and uh, Luscious. Um, I don't know what I'm doing with this one yet, but it's a ways off. Um, so, and when she hatches out four embryos, I can drop one on these two, because they only have two, and they need one in the middle, because their two are spread like a week apart. Um, and I can drop one of Sprite and Fluffy's babies, I mean, Jester and um, Sky's babies, um, on this girl. I She has three embryos in there. I mean, she has two babies and one more embryo, but I dropped the egg when I moved it, and I'm going to bet that it won't hatch. Um, I put it in there anyway, and if it hatches, we'll figure it out. But um, So I, I would, I'm counting on probably putting their fourth baby down here, so she'll have four. And um, this one, who has five embryos, I can put at least one over here with rainbow. So basically what I have is I have six more chicks that I expect to come in this cohort and that are going to need fostering out. And I have five foster places to put them. So um, what that means, oh, and the other foster thing that went away is uh, Laurel down here because she's sick. Uh, so not only is she not taking anybody else's baby, I had to take one of hers. So, so, so we have six chicks getting ready to hatch and five places to put them. A lot of times chicks don't hatch. A lot of times babies don't make it the first 24 hours. Um, in fact, it's up for grabs as to whether the baby that I fostered over here will make it. She was pretty tapped out when I put her in there. Um, maybe we should take a peek and see how she's doing. It's been several hours. Let's see what happened. Go on, Mickey. She says, I got babies. I don't want to leave. Come on, Mickey. One big one. Where's the other one? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, see, already looks fatter. Okay. Well, I think it's found a home. All right. So, um, with any luck at all, it's not going to end up being a huge issue. Um, the, you know, if I have one extra egg somewhere, I'll put it with some of my strongest parents and we'll see what happens. Um, who are my strongest parents? I don't freaking know. <laughs> um, actually, um, well, they're, these two just, they bred the most recently, but they're young and strong. Razzle and Remington are young and strong, and Remington's a really good mom, so if I have to, maybe I'll leave her with four embryos instead of three. My next cohort coming up is um, Katesh and Saturn here. I'm doing their fertility check the day after tomorrow. Um, they are in the same co cohort as um, Marine and um, Mercury. Now, I checked Marine and Mercury, and I got a big zero on their fertility check. Um, they had four eggs in there and not a sign of, of um, fertility. However, I check on the sixth day, and what I have found is occasionally, like with Scruffy and... Laurel, um, I thought they had a blank nest. They ended up with four embryos. So, or five, no, four. Five. Five embryos. So, um, sometimes the hens delay sitting, and also, um, I noticed that uh, in one week, their trimmed vents, half their feathers had grown back again because it's fall and they're putting on their winter feather. So, I pulled them both out and trimmed them again. Um, so, I'm hoping that I may still get somewhere between one and three um, viable embryos in there. If I don't, then they are the obvious foster for these two and these two. Um, this is 
uh, Mist and Neptune. And they, so this, my cohort here is the males with the planet names. The planet names are also god names, by the way. This is Neptune, Saturn, and Mercury. So they're a cohort. So it, obviously if they have a blank egg, a blank nest, then I have nothing to worry about. I got lots of space to foster eggs. Um, if they do have some babies, then um, I will take a look at these two and call accordingly. I'm going to check this all on Friday and let you know what happens. Friday is her hatch date. I know she has four embryos. I just checked. I have no idea how many um, embryos she's got here. Her fertility check isn't even until Friday. Um, so we're going to just find out if she has fertility. Um, and this will be her second fertility check. So um, if they, then I'll know for sure if they're really blank or if we're going to have some, um, some embryos in there. So that is, this cohort is um, coming up. If I get fertility from everybody, if I get prolific layers, especially from um, Katesh, who's a first-timer and in beautiful health and could easily lay eight eggs, um, uh, happily missed, stopped at five. Um, so we'll see what happens with these. I may, I may end up having to cull a few eggs, um, but maybe not. Um, and like I said, these two are so far behind everybody else that... Um, their first fertility check isn't even for a week because they just laid their first egg. So I will cull them accordingly. I'll cull them down to four embryos um, just to make sure I don't, you know, have the starvation disaster of too many chicks in a nest. Okay, so that's the update on um, fostering. Um, Lilith and Hardy are on their way out. They'll go out um, this evening just before dark. Okay. Okay.